Studies like this can help assess what happens to your body while you sleep. When we can't breathe during sleep, that really degrades the restorative value of sleep. And that can be detrimental for everyone, including shift workers like police officers. I'll send somebody right out there for you. Sleep disorders are associated with poor health as well as poor performance and increased safety risks. Dr. Shanta Rajaratnam from Monash University in Victoria, Australia, and Dr. Charles Seisler from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, along with their co-authors, screened 5,000 police officers in the United States and Canada for sleep disorders. 40% of police officers in North America screen positive for a sleep disorder, and that's really quite uh, an astonishingly high number. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The most common sleep disorder that we found was obstructive sleep apnea, which affected on average one out of three police officers across the nation. Officers that showed symptoms consistent with at least one sleep disorder were at high risk of being diagnosed for depression, anxiety disorders, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and a number of other adverse health conditions. Researchers also followed the participants for an additional two years, tracking self-reported performance and safety outcomes. Officers were at much greater risk of making an error, having a attentional lapse when they're at work, and greater rates of absenteeism. Researchers found that state police study participants had a lower prevalence of obstructive sleep apnea, 20 percent, compared to 33 percent among police overall. Their body mass index was on average lower and they, in fact, had a smaller percentage of officers who were overweight and obese. Since obesity is a known risk factor for obstructive sleep apnea, state police in Massachusetts, whose officers participated in the study, offer workout facilities and one-hour paid exercise time during each shift for its employees. It really behooves employers to make an effort to screen for sleep disorders so that they can make sure that sleep disorders are adequately treated which will improve performance, health, and safety in the workplace. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.